Hey everyone, this is Vic, and welcome to a new Caden Live 2021 series. So we're kicking the series off first with learning how to install Caden Live on your system. Now I am a Linux user, specifically I run Pop OS as my Linux distribution. So just want to give you an overview of my system here to put everything into context. So I'm running quite an older i7. 3770 processor. It's a four core, eight thread processor. I have a graphics card. I have an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, 16 gigs of memory, and I'm running my system on an SSD. There's a few different ways that you can install Caden Live into your system. One is to install it using the software manager that comes with your Linux distribution. I don't recommend using this method because usually the version of Caden Live that's available is out of date. I'm going to show you two different ways to install Caden Live that will give you the latest version. We are on the Caden Live website and let's go to the download section for Caden Live. I'm only going to cover the installation method for Linux in this tutorial because I'm running Linux and I'm not running Windows. The first method for installing is using an app image. So we've got the app image available for version 20.12. Let's go ahead and download this. Now, while we're waiting for this to download, there's an advantage for running the app image. The app image is a standalone file, which means that you can just download the file and execute it and it'll run the program standalone. You don't have to install anything else. The other advantage is that it doesn't have automatic updates. Now, you might think, okay, well, I want to run the latest version. But the thing is, if you want stability and if you like a certain version of Caden Live, then you can continue to use that version by running the app image and only upgrade when you want to. This is great in case a new version of Caden Live comes out that introduces bugs that interfere with your workflow or it might reduce some functionality that you were used to. So we've got our app image downloaded here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. So I'm going to cut and move it to, you can move it to any folder, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder called apps on my home directory. And I'm going to make another new folder here called Caden Live. Again, you don't have to do this, but this is for organization purposes. We need to make this an executable file. So there's a couple of ways to do that. There's the terminal way, so we can open a terminal. We can do chmod plus x, and then the name of our file. And that should make it as an executable file. The other way is, if your file manager supports it, is to right click, go to properties, permissions, and then you click this box, allow executing file as a program. And all we need to do now to start Caden Live is to double click on this file. And there we have it. We have Caden Live installed. Let's check our version, version 12.12. .12. The second recommended method of installing Caden Live is by using the flat pack version. So many Linux distributions now support Flatpak out of the box, or you might have to do a little bit of setup. I'm not going to go over those steps here, but I'm going to go over how to install the Flatpak version for Caden Live. So I've gone to flathub.org. I am going to search for Caden Live. Now here's our Caden Live Flatpak version. And as we can see, it's actually a more up-to-date version than the app image version that we recently installed. So this one is at 20.12.1. The easiest way to install this is just to do the command line version. And again, this should apply to any Linux distribution that has Flatpak set up. So we'll open up a terminal and we're going to copy the install command. Paste it. I already have the Flatpak version installed on my system. so it says that it's skipping the installation process. To make sure that we're running the Flatpak version, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the run command as well. We'll paste it and we'll launch Caden Live this way. So this is Caden Live for our Flatpak version. So let's just check the version number and we should see that it's version 20.12.1. 
versus version 20.12.0 on our app image version. Now, some of the advantages and some of the things that I like with installing the Flatpak version is that you automatically get the most up-to-date version, so you don't have to keep an eye whether or not there's a new version that's come out. And the other thing is that you can launch it directly from your applications on your Linux distribution. You can't do that with the app image version. You'll have to manually navigate to the file where you've saved it and then double click on that file to launch. Now, both versions should function very similarly. You shouldn't have any issue. I've tested both the app image and the Flatpak images um, in the past and I've noticed no difference in performance. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.